Just to clarify lang, was that an insertion yung for the dredging projects? No, that was a... Was that a budget These are insertion? adjustments that are made during the budget process. Uh, normal naman yan. Hindi hmm. naman... Kami po, nagre-recommend kami. At uh, hindi naman required na yung recommendation namin ang tatanggapin ng Congress. So, hindi inserted dyan ni Budget Secretary Jock, no? Because no, of course, I, I he's think, denying. Well, it, that, an adjustment is part of the process. Meron, mm -hmm. Kaya kami, nagsasabit kami ng, uh, ng program sa DBM. And then, ultimately, uh, yung DBM, magde-decide sila kung, kung, kung dadagdagan nila yung budget namin, kung... Uh, that's discretion naman nila yun. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately, pag, na, uh, pag uh, natapos na yung NEP, yun ang NEP ang isasabit sa Congress. And then, yes, discretion nila kung yes, sir. ano. Anyway, you yes. came from Congress din naman. So, let's try to lay, lay down the baseline. When, you say, when we say insertions, uh, how do we define insertions? Kasi I, I suppose Congress has its own definition. Uh, DBM has its own definition. Um, what is an insertion? Is it a pre-submission uh, pre of uh, the budget, nag-insert, or uh, during the deliberations, saka nag-insert? When is it an insertion? Akin, kasi I think insertion, adjustment, I mean, it's the same whether or not it's an insert, it's an adjustment. These are all bahagi po ng, process, ng hmm. budgeting process. Even until now, hindi pa tapos yung budgeting yeah, process. But I, I, I know what yeah. you're saying. Parang ako rin, parang nawiwirdohan ako na, as you're, say, you're emphasizing, there's a process. But hmm. I think... More than the actual term, it's the way it's said. Yes. Diba? Parang the way a congressman would say, e, insertion yan eh. Oh, and immediately, kahit hindi ko naiintindihan, I'm, I'm thinking, ah, baka, baka he means pork barrel. Baka may... Bottom line is, somebody, if congressmen are suggesting, there's some impropriety going on. When is an insertion not part of the process? When is it something... Uh, that that becomes suspicious. At what uh, well, point does it become uh, well, suspicious? Uh, ang, uh, the term that's also used, pork barrel. Uh. Now, a pork barrel, by definition, of the courts, it's a discretionary fund. After where in the after they the can interfere after mm. the mm. budget is passed, mm. where they can still have some, uh, mm. uh, they can still have some uh, involvement even after. Mm. Wala na po yun. Everything now is uh, by line item budgeting. Mm. Mm. So that that's the process now. Wala nang lump sa, uh, there's no lump sums. It's everything is uh, accounted for line item budgeting, mm. and uh, that is power ng Congress yun eh. mm. So it, whether you call it an insertion or an adjustment, yes, uh, kasama din po sa budgetary process. Yes, kami naman po para at least clear sa ating mga kababayan. Kami nagre-recommend kami sa Congress. Mm -hmm. I do not have power to approve the budget or to dictate. I would never. I don't dictate the budget. Mm. I just suggest. And then Congress will decide. Uh, kami naman, nags actually, nagsasubmit kami sa DBM for our, our recommendation. Then he, they'll decide what is the ultimate submission to Congress. Yes, sir. Sir, para clear lang bali, and again for the baseline. Um, so what happened was that uh, the amount uh, involved, the 75 billion, was not in the proposal uh, of, the of the DPWH. Yes. So, uh, but it was uh, in the proposal, the, the, the NEP submitted by DBM. Yeah. To yes, the uh, National Congress. Expenditure Program. The National Expenditure mm -hmm. Program. So, ganito po yung proseso. Uh, kami naman po, binibigyan ka po kami ng ceiling hmm. for, ng DBM. Based on the ceiling, gagawa kami ng program. Uh, a recommendation. Yun ang isasubmit namin sa DBM, yung recommendation namin. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi pa yan yung, <laughs> yung pa National yan Expenditure yan. Program. Mm -hmm. uh, Budget level pa lang yan. Traditionally, may mga adjustments yeah. pa yan. They can say, hindi. Uh, kulang pa yan or they can say eh, sobra na yan uh, babawasan pa namin yan or dadagdagan namin mm -hmm. so that and then when the NEP comes out dun na pati kami dun na makikita kung ano yung naging changes sa but is there anything namin. funny about you not knowing na, na, na dinagdagan yan? I think that happens I think other I don't think it's limited to my department uh, mm -hmm. may adjustments tal I think I don't think as it's not expected that kung ano man ang gusto namin yun exactly yun ang yun ang magiging na, mm. uh, national expenditure program. Mm. May nakakaroon din naman ng adjustments. Uh, yes, that's not uh, illegal yes, or out but, of the But you know, I suppose what made it look funny was that Congress was talking about insertions of uh, the, the DBM for what, around two weeks without the president speaking about it and saying that, yeah, but that's still my budget anyway, and that is not Ben Jokno's budget. I mean, it... Uh, for a long time, Malacanang was quiet and let uh, Ben Jokno hang, <laughs> hang and blown, uh, be blown by the wind. Well, uh, you know, I, I can't speak for the action, but I, I can only describe what the process is. And I can mm. say that 
that's the process. So, and then ultimately, uh, isasabit namin sa Congress, and then Congress will decide. In, in fact, that's what's happening now. Okay. <laughs> Pinagdedebatihan nila kung ano yung gusto nilang yeah. uh, baguhin sa Congress. And that's within their discretion. And kami naman, we don't uh, interfere. <coughs> At the uh, other end of this process, as you said, and, and that's what uh, yes. Ben Jokna is also saying, look, it's a process. May room pa tayo na mag-suggest, yes. it shoot down, yes. and so on, and ultimately it's still Congress. Yes. But at the end, at the end of that uh, process, uh, congressmen are also saying yes, but at the end of it, may conflict of interest ka because yung yung contrata you have you hold sway over a particular contractor. The DBM is saying no, wala kami kinalaman sa sa contractors. Yes. As far as you've seen how things work with the DPWH and even for that matter at the level of LGUs. Who's telling the truth here? Well, uh, for for me, I, I don't. I wouldn't want to preempt any investigations or anything. But sa lang, if there are any accusations or impro of impropriety, definitely. In fact, uh, that's our focus now because uh, just recently we've dis we've gone for the first time the DPWH has gone. Uh, um, we have a for the first time we have a monitoring system that's. Uh, uh, Online. Online, so na mo monitor. In fact, we're able. All the projects. In fact, this this the first two years, uh, the, been, we've been the most aggressive in blacklisting of contractors. Okay. Already. But the question yes. I think that Congress is is, is is not granted. It's not to DPWH. Yes. The question is: Is it true that what Budget Secretary Jokno is saying in real in in reality, totoo ba na ang ang DBM is is so far removed from the end process here na na babayaran ng ang ang contractor because that's what he's saying he's saying na look no matter what happens kahit anong makita niyo diyan kahit pasabihin niyo kamag-anak ko si ano the reality is i didn't see that and pagka nagkabayaran wala akong kinalaman kung sino ko kontratahin kung sino babayaran ng LGUs for example yeah. well or, the DBM should not have any mm -hmm. say they should not uh, in, in terms of implementation. That's, and in practice, in that's reality, they should not, and you they, can you And can if, there's any, if there's any evidence of that, then, mm -hmm. you know, we will can, we'll can, definitely act on it immediately. Can uh, the DBM pick contractors? Oh, no, of course not. That's, uh, Who picks the contractors? That, there's a very uh, specific process. Either uh, for DPWH procurement. or LG. No, there's no contractor. It's a very okay. specific pro process of procurement. Mm -hmm. uh, in ah, terms of pre-qualification, okay. post-qualification, kung paano yung bidding, yung mga terms of bidding. It's a very mm. specific process and it's, a, and it's a reviewed by the COA. So yeah. they're very strict about this. If there's a, any deviations of process, uh, this will come out. So you're uh, saying all these projects, if they're under DPWH, they will have to go through procurement rules? Yes, we're very strict with procurement, in fact. Uh, and the public can monitor? Yes, we, we, that's why we're increasing. We always want to be transparent. Yung corruption is always a function of uh, discretion and uh, lack of mm. accountability. And that's what we want to address in the DP through our uh, computerized mon com computerization. Uh, discretion, we want to limit discretion because uh, uh, in terms of uh, yung, eh, dati kasi ang sistema namin, uh, Excel spreadsheet, it's very, mm. ano, very inefficient. Mano-mano mm. lang. Kung may report, uh, chichek pa sa, manually, chichek pa sa computer. But now, with our new system, we can do it immediately, real time. Even, pati yung picture ng project, machi-check namin. May uh, kaming geotagging. That how is, how sa, far along is this computerization? It's, it's installed. Uh, ginagamit na po namin. Kaya, kaya marami kami nahuli mga <laughs> contractors uh -huh. na, uh, na may slippages. Kasi nakikita namin kagad eh. 100% na to, nationwide In, na siya. Well, may, what we're, ang ginagawa namin, yung, yung implementation ng system, pero yung geotagging, yung picturing, yun ang ongoing ngayon. So we want to be, by this year, dapat 100% kami sa geotagging. So before may release ng budget, kailangan, ipakita muna nila yung picture ng project na na-confirm ng satellite. Mm. Oh, wow. mm. So that's how we eliminate discretion. And mm. we add to accountability kasi kita na eh. Kahit pindutin ko lang yung computer ko, makikita ko agad kung ano yung mga slippages ng mga contractors. Mm. Kaya ang haba na nalistahan namin eh. Sumusulat kami sila. Nagsimple, dalhin nyo yung computer nyo para <laughs> <laughs> maganda makakita yan.